I think they count down. Don't see one. Well, that's because we're now live. Welcome to Speaker Co-op TV. Today's five questions is with Clint Fuquay. How you doing, Clint? I'm good. How is everybody? <laughs> Everybody's watching, not live. All right. There you go. I uh, wanted to make sure everybody knows that Clint has been an advertiser on speakerclub.com for quite a few years now. Uh, I think either four or five, if I'm not mistaken. Right, Clint? No, actually, it's been uh, about two and a half. Okay. Well, yeah, it's okay. Good enough. The uh, We've been around eight years, as you know, and uh, we've made, gone through a lot of changes over the last two. You've seen a lot, and uh, Clint also helps us with our Dallas meeting every month. So we're just going to dive right into our five questions, and that's how you're going to learn about Clint. He is uh, one of the hundred and something speakers that you can find on speakercoop.com. Clint, tell us the main topic you're sharing with the world right now. All right, uh, the main topic I'm sharing with the world is actually uh, personal health care reform. Uh, it's also titled, Oops, I Lost My Health Insurance. Um, and it's uh, basically it's getting people to wrap their head around how to live without health insurance, uh, which means being healthy. Because if you're healthy, you don't have to use it. It's like your car insurance. You, you pay for it, but you never want to use it. This way, rates stay down. Um, and so that, uh, that's, my main, that's my main message and how to go about doing that, no matter where you're at in life. What are some of the kind of tips you share during that talk? Uh, main tips are actually uh, some some dietary and exercise tips, of course, because I'm I'm a trainer and health educator. Uh, but the main thing is uh, the mental side, which is trying to figure out what you really what you want to do in life and where you want to be. Where you, whenever you're 99, you look back on the rest of your, you look back in your life. What do you see there, um, and how are you going to get to that point? So. Uh, if you're sick, you're probably not going to get there. If you're healthy, you'll have the ability to get there because you've got nothing hindering you other than you know some other little roadblocks that you can easily overcome. Uh, so that's cool. that's the main piece. And I know that the people who work with Clint swear by what he helps them with. Um, what is your favorite group that you want to share your time with? Um, favorite groups. Uh, actually, I like uh, small businesses, business associations. So, uh, business is somewhere around 50 to 100 people. Actually, is kind of my sweet spot right now uh, because they've got a lot of uh, a lot of questions they're going to be asking over the next uh, year, two, or three that need to be answered, and nobody really has the answers. We're trying to find the answers or look for them right now. Uh, the best answer, of course, is my answer, which is with all the health insurance stuff. If you're healthy, who cares? Because you're not. You don't have to worry about it. If you don't have to use it, so um, that's one of them. The other one is uh, so you're helping with their employees as well. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's uh, employers. Employers are gonna be spending more and more and more on uh, keeping their employees healthy, especially if they dump their health care coverage, uh, which is planned for quite a few companies out there. So they got to do something to take care of their employees, keep them healthy, keep them motivated, and give them a reason to stay working for that company. Uh, so they're gonna start. Coming towards uh, coming for people like myself and a few others I know in the industry that are going to be helping out with keeping employees healthy and motivated. Um, Very cool. Along with that, church groups, of course, church groups are always fun to work with. And uh, then, of course, uh, you know, election year is coming up next year, midterms. So any any political action groups out there, uh, political action committees, things like that, those are always fun because you can start getting into some legislative process of it. Uh, and the whole what you can do at home uh, to take care of yourself and, and your family, which is even more important. Great. What is one of your favorite quotes and why? Favorite quotes. Um, I'm going to go to Jack Lane because he's the man that started all this. Uh, and if you don't know who Jack Lane is, you need to look him up. He's absolutely incredible. Uh, but uh, one of his quotes, I'm going to look this up here so I don't misquote him because I don't want to misquote Jack. He will come back from the grave and, and strangle, strangle me. Uh, Jack Elaine, remember this. Your body, your body is your slave. It works for you. Um, quite literally. Oh, I like that. Yeah, 
I, I love that. One. I'm old. Uh, I'm old enough to remember when he was on TV once uh, every week, or so it felt like every day. Sometimes back when we only had three or four channels, and Jack Lane was all on PBS. Uh, yeah, he he had a great that, that show too. He and his wife. Yeah, I don't think people realize how revolutionary his show is. You can watch that, and it's so relevant today. It's it's not even funny. It was a well produced, well well put out their show. Well, you might maybe you ought to look at that changing your look to one of those jumpsuits that he always wore. <laughs> maybe no, not. Can't do. Can't write the. That, that, that's Jacks right there. That's his Superman outfit. <laughs> I'm I'm out on that one. <laughs> Gotta All right. My own. <laughs> Question number four in our five questions is tell us something most people don't know about Clint. Uh, something most people don't know about me. Uh, so I'm going to give you two of them. One, I was the 98-pound weakling back in junior high. Uh, quite literally, I was. Um, and Because uh, I got beat up in football and everything else. So uh, the other big thing, this wow. is topical with Superman. Uh, I will be at a Superman premiere on Monday. So I get to see before the rest of the population does. And I'm so pumped about this because I'm I'm a huge Superman fan, huge, obsessively huge Did Superman you read fan. The comic books when you were a kid. Uh, yeah, I remember with me. I think you got to say that again. We kind of lost you there for a second. Well, the beauties of modern technology. We'll see if we can get Clint back. If not, we'll wrap up today's five questions. There we go. Um, Clint is an amazing trainer. He's a, a really entertaining, fun speaker. And if you have a group like he described, you should consider Clint to come and speak to your group. This has been five questions from Speaker Co-op TV. SpeakerCoop.com is where you go to find the perfect speaker for your next event. And I'm Jeff Klein, signing off. <laughs>